Virgo, this is your July mid-month reading, and I'm Joanna with Moon Water Tarot. Okay, so let's see what messages are coming forth for you. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and do these because they kind of jumped up a little bit. Let's start here. Oh my gosh, the Ten of Wands. This came up for Libra's reading. The Chariot. The Eight of Cups. Wow, I'm getting similar messages. The King of Swords. Well, isn't that interesting? Because uh, Libra is reading their air signs. So the King of Swords and the Five of Swords. Um, let's see what's underneath. The Ace of Cups. Okay, I'm hearing, what is that saying? Be careful, something about the hand, don't bite the hand that feeds you. I have no idea why that's coming up. I don't know if that's lyrics in a song. I know it's a saying. Um, I want to see what's under this. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Uh, let me adjust this so you can see it a little bit better. I'm saying wow because I believe that in Libra's reading, this was the first card out. I feel like there's a tug of war. There's back and forth, back and forth. And it's like, sometimes things are good, and when they're good, they're really good, and other times things are just thrown up in the air, and they're bad, um, especially with this, the, the five of swords here. Um, I want to say, especially with the court card here, that it's going to be important that you... Stay focused through mid-July and you stay focused on what it is that you are trying to achieve. I am picking up trap. Okay, Nicholas just ran by. Um, don't run from your situation. Don't, uh, because I feel like wherever you run to, there you are. In other words, the problems are going to follow you. So this is, whatever you're dealing with is not something that you can just hide or turn away from. Or if you do, they're creating more burdens. So this can be a situation um, that you're in, could even be in the workplace, but I feel like it could also be very much that you're dealing with a person, and it, this person could be a boss, a friend, a lover, someone you're in a relationship with, a family member. It could be your past. I believe in the reading for Libra, um, what I picked up on was water signs and fire signs. And that there was... Um, like you're being pulled in two different directions. And with the chariot here, it's a delicate balance. I feel like there may be a choice that some of you have to make. And maybe your heart says one thing. Your logical mind says something else. Um, but I feel like there's a situation from your past that possibly keeps coming around again. Whether it's a person or circumstances. And... Uh, it keeps happening. I do in, uh, feel like somebody is traveling. 
As some of you are traveling by car, others it's by air. So I feel like there's a trip. I'm also getting a trip back home. So wherever home is, or it may not be actual home, but it feels like home. But I also feel that there's something about, there's a play on the past here. Some of you, there may be an offer that's coming in, and it could be in July. It may even be in August for some of you. Some of you, it may have already come. And what you're trying to do is maybe do two things at once or you have a decision to make in terms of what path to go on. But I get, it's kind of like a roller coaster that some of you may be feeling this energy. Because I get move forward and then it stops. And then you move forward again and maybe it's two steps forward, one step back in order to get to where you want or where you're headed. But this is a blessing. There's like a blessing in disguise. Love is around. Um, this can also be overwhelming uh, amount of an emotion that is coming forth, especially... We have the five fountains or water that are being shed. And, you know, that to me, it's interesting, too, because we do have a five here. Five here, five for me represent conflict, changes, something that's a bit unstable. But there is a, a message or something to gain out of whatever strife or situation that you are going through or having a difficult time letting go of. It can be a person that you're having a difficult time removing yourself from the situation. Maybe there, maybe it's not that you keep putting yourself in this situation, but there's somebody that keeps coming around you and they keep putting themselves in the situation and or around you and it brings up energy. Because I feel like there's memories here that are at play also. The 10, though, is the end of a cycle. But what are your hopes? What are your wishes? What are your dreams? What are you wanting? And focus on that. If you don't get what it is that you want by the end of July, I feel like there is a reason for it because there's something possibly bigger coming up down the road or could go into August. But I feel like it's important that you don't get wrapped up in this, whatever this is. This can be that somebody is fighting for you. It can be that you are fighting for someone or you're fighting for yourself. But there's three people here. So there can be three people involved in some kind of circumstance or some kind of duel. There could be, I'm focusing here on the green, there could be some envy or jealousy that's going on. They want what you have. So it can be that you're trying to avoid a situation. You're wanting to walk away from it, but you end up walking into it or somebody comes and spontaneously surprises you out of the blue and you end up walking into that. But just remember, learn from your past. History does tend to repeat itself. So if there's a situation that's been going on, most likely if there's a pattern with this, with these circumstances or this person, they could come back around again and they could be an air sign. They don't have to be. 
because this, you know, I look at each card and it can tell you one story and then you see another one. So this could be a, a person. This could also be energy. So there's some adjustments that are needed. And it could be also that this conflict that's going on is something internal. It doesn't necessarily, it can be a battle. It can be a legal battle. Because uh, oftentimes I see the King of Swords as like a judge or an attorney. Um, and he or she, are, they're coming across that way here. But do your best to not be surprised by somebody that maybe comes in or lashes out at you or at someone um, out of jealousy or spite or trying to win something at all costs. But I feel like somehow there's you get the upper hand or there's a blessing in whatever is taking place. So remember that. All right. So these are just some messages that are coming forward. Remember, if you'd like a private reading with me, Virgo, you can reach me at moonwatertarot.com. Thank you so much for watching and take good care. All right. Bye.